What's up guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how to set up a one-to-one -one relationship in Feathers.js using Postgres as your database. Now we're going to be setting up a foreign key and the way I like to do this is as so. So the first thing you do is you come into your services index, so right here, and you need to add this little bit right here at the end. This will set up the relationship. Um, this is very important. What this does, this is going to go through before your models are created and basically set up the associations that we're about to create. It'll add the foreign key. It'll create the one-to-one -one relationship that we want. So make sure you have this in your index of, uh, in your services folder. And then the next thing is, I already created an address um, service, which I want to be one-to-one -one with my user. So here's my user model, didn't change anything. I'll show you my address model though. Um, you'll notice, actually there was one thing I changed in user model, so I wanna show you guys. Um, there was a like user.sync. You do not need that because notice in our index, we're syncing SQLize here. And what this does is it syncs it after we set the associations, and that's important. Okay, so I created an address model. And as you can see, everything looks the same, except for I added this class method right here. And this is an important bit, and we know so you create, we remove the sync as well here. So we're gonna associate. This is where, this associate function is where you're gonna basically create all the associations that you want address to be related to. Now, what we're doing here is we're using address, and this is the same name that you'll see right here, and you'll see here. So you need to use that, and you're gonna say belongs to models, that's passed as a parameter right here, and then users. Notice how this is plural, that's very important. That's gonna reference our user model. So that's gonna set up a user ID in this, um, uh, this uh, table uh, for address automatically. So we don't have to add like uh, user ID and then tell it it's an integer or a long or whatever and uh, create that field. We don't have to create the attribute. By saying address.belongs to, that's gonna set up a attribute for us. It's gonna set up a user ID field that we can basically use as a foreign key to user. Now, another cool thing I just wanted to show you guys is I like to set up a hook. So in the address.hooks, um, this is the index hook, I like to create this um, um, hook in the create hook. So what this does is it associates the current user as user ID. Now notice this user ID, it's important. You want to take the name of your thing, which is user, and then just stick ID at the end. This is the attribute that SQLize is going to create for us. And when we add it to the create, what this does is it just automatically adds the user ID in for us when we create a uh, address. So when we create an address, what it'll do is it'll authenticate the user and it'll grab the user ID automatically for us and add that to our address, um, basically, that we're inserting. Oops, so let's come over here to Postman and I'll show you how this works. So right here, we um, logged in with the user. So I just create a sample user right here and I logged in, got the token right here, and then over here, I'm going to make a post request to addresses. Um, this is the text I'm going to use, and then I'm passing in that token. Now, when we run this, what we should see is we should see a user ID of one uh, associated with this address because we're passing the token for Bob. So when we send this, as we can see, the user ID is one, and it worked. And so that's how you set up a one-to-one -one relationship um, in Feathers.js and using Postgres. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Let me know if you have any questions below about this stuff, um, and I'll see you in the next video.